Order flow analysis uses market depth information for insight into what is forming the structure that we see printed on the chart. So if you're here, you already have an interest in order flow and order flow analysis or trading with order flow. So I'm not going to bore you with, you know, what it is or why it could be important or how to use it or the way that I use it. In my opinion, the way to use order flow is going to be based off of whatever makes the most sense to you. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the different tools and features that Sierra chart gives you in order to be able to trade using order flow, right? Also make sure you stay, you know, all the way, watch all the way through to the end, because towards the end, once I show all of this stuff, I'm going to show you how to clean up your charts and how to use Sierra charts features to kind of bring things together. Once you start using all of these tools and putting all this stuff together, you can kind of have charts all over the place and things can get crowded and you can get drowned out. What you need to see can get drowned out in all of the noise that you have printed from the information that you're trying to pull from the market, right? So I'm going to show you how you can kind of clean up your charts and make things a little bit more simple and easy to see by using Sierra charts features, right? So we'll get to that later on in the video. All right, so let's get into this. So I'm not going to go into a lot of details about each of these things just to keep this a short video. This is really just going to be an overview of the different studies and the different things that Sierra chart has within its package in order to be able to, you know, use order flow or, or trade using order flow. Um, the first thing that you need to be aware of, if you're trying to do order flow analysis, you're going to need market depth information. So with Sierra chart, you're going to need either package five or package 11 or 12, right? And if you're trading futures, you're going to need package 11 or 12. Now. I have package 11. Most traders are going to be fine with package 11, but if you want more information about setting it up, I have videos that I, I've already went into depth about all of that. So I'll just link that. You'll see that here somewhere in this video, or it, it'll definitely be in the description below. And with anything else that I mentioned in this video, if there's a video that I've already made where I go into more details about it, that also, those videos will also be linked in the description. All right. So Getting into this, you can see up here, like this is just the basic stuff I have on the left, the time and sales, right? I don't necessarily, I mean, I don't use time and sales, um, but you know, that is there available if you want to use it, right? And then also, this is just the basic stuff. You have uh, the dumb over here, the depth of market on the right. And with this dumb, you can go into it. And you can, they have some studies specifically for this. So you can use a spreadsheet or if you want to put a TPO up there, you know, I can do something like that. So you can start to see that things are starting to look a little different over here that I put that TPO value line there, or if I want to just put the volume profile on there, right? And so you can start to adjust the dumb based off of whatever you're trying to see. All right. So those are two like basic ways of analyzing order flow. Now, another popular way of order of analyzing order flow is with a footprint chart. So with Sierra chart, you can have a footprint. All right. And you can see here, like this is just a basic footprint chart. I also have, um, what I call the Delta board. This is what I'm calling it, uh, down here at the bottom of the charts. And the way that you would go about putting this together is you would go into the studies, right? So I have it in my shortcuts here. You can go to analysis, go to studies, and you will look for numbers bars, right? And I already have all this over here, so I'm not going to put it over there again, but you will look for numbers bars. You'll, you'll set up the footprint chart using the numbers bars. Also for my, what I'm calling the Delta board, you will use the numbers bars calculated values, right? So you can put this together and build this yourself. I can make another video about how to do this how I put this, how I made this footprint chart. But if you don't want to do all that, you can also go to the ultimate traders guide.net and go down to ultimate charting guide. And inside the ultimate charting guide, I share some of my chart books and other resources. And inside here, you'll see the chart book that I'm showing you in this video, right? With all of these footprint charts and whatever, whatever else I want to put in here related to order flow. Right. So if you need help with downloading this chart book onto your computer and installing it on and putting it on your installation of Sierra chart, I can make another video. So just go ahead and comment below with ultimate charting guide. That'll let me know that that's something that you need. And then I can go ahead and make a video about how to put this chart book on your, on your installation of Sierra chart 
so that you don't have to just make a footprint chart from scratch. It doesn't take long. It's actually quite easy. Doing it yourself also helps you understand what settings are important to bring up what information, right? So that's just a basic footprint chart. Also in conjunction with stuff like the footprint, you'll see a lot of traders who use, who trade with uh, order flow will be interested in the volume by price. So I can, I can also put the volume by price on here. And I have mine kind of set as a heat map, sort of like, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here and go ahead and hide it and apply. So you can see my volume profile and my volume by price. This study is over here, the volume by price, right? And then I set this up so that it looks sort of like a heat map, right? So another thing that you may be interested in if you're trading order flow or using your order flow is the volume point of control for the bar, for the current bar. And I, and that's this right here volume point of control for bars I already have it set up here so if i unhide this and click apply now you can see this other line that came up that shows me the point of control for the current bar right so these are just some studies that sierra chart has available that you can use for analyzing order flow and some additional things that you can use in conjunction with analyzing order flow now there are so much more than this they have a lot more studies in here that you can look through for different ways of breaking down the market depth information and, and seeing the order flow. But you know, this is just the basic stuff. Now I'm gonna click out of here. Now, so this is just a ba basic footprint chart going back to this footprint chart. This is like a, the basic setup. I don't use it this way, but I hear other traders using it to where they look for imbalances between the bid and the ask. Um, that's one way of using it. Like I said, the, the way to use it is going to be whatever way makes the most sense to you. Now you can get into the settings of this footprint chart and change it to things that's more relevant to you. So playing with the numbers bar settings, this is just a, a different version of a footprint chart that I created. That's, you know, more in line with the visual things that I'm trying to see gives me more of a visual representation of what I'm trying to pull from the market depth information all right from the order flow and this will also be inside of that chart book that's in the ultimate charting guide so if you want to play around with this as well you it's there available for you so you know this is just another version that i you know i'm not going to go into details about it this is just another version to show you that you can set this up in whatever way makes the most sense to you all right so as a bonus i'm going to show you one more study that a sierra chart has available for analyzing order flow so if i go into back to studies right and then i go into add custom study under this more so more than likely if you're doing this for the first time it'll come up like this so you have sierra chart custom studies and examples and then i'll go down to ask bid volume difference bars so i already have a chart set up with this so let me go and open that chart up and so down here at the bottom, that's what that looks like. So it kind of gives you another visual representation of the difference between the bid and the ask. So you can see that Sierra chart has a lot of different studies and tools that allow you to break down the order flow information in whatever way is most appealing to you, right? All right, so let's say we have this hypothetical situation to where I have these multiple charts up, right? And they're all, they all have valuable information on them, but I want to bring everything kind of into one chart or, or in as few charts as possible. So what I can do is I can start, let's just say I want to bring this ask big volume difference bars information up into this chart. And I want to make this my main chart. Let me just open this up wide. Now the first thing I want to do, let me go back to that chart. That's going to be this one. I need to get the, this chart number. And this chart number is going to be number three. And let me go into the studies and I can see that this is going to be ID one, right? For the ask big, uh, volume difference bar study. And then I can go ahead and close this down. Just hit cancel, bring up the chart that I want. Then I'm gonna go back into my studies, go to studies. I always like to put new stuff at the bottom and then I can arrange it later if I want to. And I'm going to look for study price overlay. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there go into the settings for that i can double click it or click settings and up here at the top study to overlay for this i want it to be i don't want it to be on this up here with the candlesticks or with the bars i want it to be down here like in between the delta and the bars so 
what I do is I put this in chart region 2 I'm gonna click OK then before I do that I'm gonna go back to the, the Delta board and I'm gonna put that in chart region 3 this is gonna make sense in a minute click OK now I'm gonna go back to here and that was chart number three and then I got to pick the study that I want and I want that ask bid study right and there's some other settings that I can change in here if I want to get fancy but I'm not going to do that for this video just to keep it simple and then I'm going ahead and click OK and then OK now this is kind of messy or this is not as clean as I want it to be so I can adjust it and make the stuff smaller so that it's more visually appealing. And that's exactly how I wanted to look. So now I can see that information there, right? And then I also have it here. So, you know, that's just an example. I wouldn't actually personally set it up this way, but cause this doesn't, but it's gonna be based off of what's more valuable to you. All right. Now let's just say I wanna make it even more cleaner than this. Okay. And I don't wanna have to keep looking up and down between the candlesticks or the bars and the bid and the ask and the, and the Delta and all that stuff. I want it, this, I want to just only focus on the bars. So to illustrate this, I'm going to turn the numbers bars off to make it easier to see. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this chart. I'm going to duplicate this chart so I can play with this because I need to remove the numbers bars just to make this, to illustrate this point in the most simplistic way as possible. And then you can take it and run with it from there. So. Now I'm going to remove that. All right. So in this scenario, let's just say that we only are concerned when the, the bid and the ask is above 100, right? On either, on either side, if the, if the bid is above 100, we want to be, we want to be aware of that. And if the ask is above 100, then we want to be aware of that. Okay. So what I can do, I can go back into my studies. I always want to right click because I'm just used to right clicking and it's in my shortcuts, but I want to show it in the basic way. And I'm going to scroll up and go look for color bar based on alert condition. Go ahead and add that in there. Now I'm going to put my alert in here for what I wanted to alert me on. Now I'm going to need my ID and my SD number for what I'm trying to look for. Right. And I have a video that I went into more details about how, how to set alerts. I'll go ahead and like I said, and and link that in this video but let me just go get that information first so i'm gonna go back to my delta board all right so i can see that this is id 10 and then i'm going to look for the delta which is going to be sg1 it's, it's in numerical order but if you just want to see it you can open it up and see it's sg1 okay so now i have that information so what i want to know is when id 10 sg1 is greater than 100, right? That's the, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the IG10 SG1, right? The Delta from the Delta board to be greater than 100. And now once that's true, I can set how I want the bar to be highlighted. So let me just set this up. I wanna, I'm gonna ahead and go ahead and ignore these other two. I'm not, I don't care about these. And I wanted to highlight, let's say it's gonna highlight yellow. Now you can set how far you want this to go back for your back testing and all that stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So let me just click apply to see if I got it right. You look down here, you can see the Delta is plus uh, over a hundred, it's at 193. So the bar is yellow. So now say I wanna do that on the other side, right? What I would do is I would just click okay on that and then I would duplicate it just to keep it separate. And go pick another color here. Let me just pick pink. I don't know. And then we're going to go less than negative 100. See if I got that right. Okay, I got it right. So you know where we have 187, negative 187. You can see it's pink. And then over here, you got negative 108. You can see it's pink. So you can see that. So now it makes it easier because I don't have to look at this bar all the time. I can just wait for this thing to, I can wait for my alert to be triggered and the bar to highlight the color that I told it to. 
and you know it just makes it easier for me to be able to see the things that i need to see right all right so that was just an overview of the different features and the studies that sierra chart has available for anyone that's interested in trading using order flow so if you have any more questions or there's something you want to know more about just go ahead and leave those in the comment section below and uh if i've already made a video on Anything that I mentioned here, like going into more details, all of that will be in the description below as well. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if, if you haven't already done so. So until the next time, trade it easy.